think of my pretty new rings. A little big, but they're really cute. Hey guys! Today I'm talking to you about Artsyville's new washi tape. If you haven't seen it, it is awesome. And I'm so proud of her because she did this on her own. It's not done by another company. It is designed by her and all of the magical stuff that happens to bring us our cute craft products. She figured out and had this manufactured herself. And I am so excited to play with it. I am a washi tape fiend. With the washi tape, Amy sent this little card that says what you can do with washi tape. And there's a lot of stuff on here that I think is really cute. And it gave me some ideas that I thought would be fun for us to play with. So we'll be making a little craft from the card here. So this is what the packaging looks like on the washi tape. And there's this little card that tells you the name of each tape. And I just really love them. I mean, both the ingenuity and the design that had to go into it and all the work that had to go into it. I mean, this is awesome. And I thought that we would beautify this jar because this is what my small brushes in my studio go in, like this. And I was reading her little card and I thought, why don't we um, do this jar? Because it is a, it's a strawberry preserves jar from Trader Joe's that I just really liked the jar and I was like, why not keep it? And I can't, I can't get this sticker off all the way and I know I could probably like get it wet or something, but I just don't have the patience for it. And you can see there's already paint on there from, I think I've used this as a water jug a couple of times too. So I thought it'd be fun to use the different tapes to make a pattern to cover up the sticker and beautify my jar. I have decided which ones I want to use and the pattern they're going to go in and it's just gonna make it so like this little part in the front is not gonna be covered but that's fine because I'm off and I've played with this and it is very sticky oh, I will find I kind of want to start and end at the same place okay so it's right there and actually you can't really see it that much and I'm just going to line this up. Tell where this heart overlaps, where I'm starting and stopping, which is actually pretty nice. The patterns are pretty seamless. I don't want to do another wrap around because I feel like this is pretty centered. So I think I'm just going to put it there where the jar comes up. I don't know how that's going to look. Let's look. So that's what my jar looks like, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm going to do one final step on here, and that is I'm going to coat it with Collage Podge um, because I like this stuff. It's a little thicker than Mod Podge. This is Sparkle Collage Podge. So this is Sparkle Collage Podge, and I'm going to put it here. Okay. The reason I'm putting this on there is since this is going to have brushes in it, it is definitely going to get messy. And I feel like if I put the Collage Podge on the jar, it'll protect the tape. And then the tape won't start peeling up because it'll be kind of glued down. And this is a catalyst tool. And I like using this to put glue on things because then you don't ruin a brush. Because, you know, that's what happens. You ruin a brush. So I'm just going to coat this with a layer of it. And I like that it's sparkle because then it'll give my jar some shine. I have 
a cute sparkle jar of pretty, pretty tape. And I can put all my brushes back. Yay! So that's what my jar looks like now. How cool is that? This definitely looks much, much cuter than it did before. And it took me a jar I already had and about 10 minutes, but that was mostly to keep it straight. So I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you guys next week.